biggest bruise on my knee from hitting my desk and I probably just gave myself another one. Desk jobs are dangerous if you're me. So hello, good morning. It is Wednesday and I've been trying desperately to have a day to kind of get a bunch of Etsy and like card stuff done and I keep having to work but I keep I keep saying yes to jobs. I can't say no to money. So we're gonna be doing that on Saturday. So instead, this video is gonna be a few work days in my life. Um, my name is Katrina. I am a freelance graphic designer and I also have an Etsy shop where I sell cards, stickers, that type of thing. We're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna to be working. So I've had, so I have a couple clients. One, I book like full days and I've been booked the last two days and I'm booked tomorrow with them. Um, so today I'm going to finish up a couple things from the project yesterday that didn't get done and then I have another client who I have a bingo card that I'm making and then I have another job with a couple changes all before I have a meeting at 3.30. Um, so it's a busy work day. I'm trying to unlock my computer at the same time. I can't, I can't focus on one thing at a time. So yeah, it's going to be a busy day and then I have a workout class at 5 today I'm trying to be better at... Um, it's really hard to freelance and like get a decent work workout schedule. I used to be so good because I used to be able to just walk. What have I done? I <laughs> oh my god, as much as I like the bangs, they are really causing me a lot of grief all the time. Um, yeah, I don't have like a job where I walk home or drive from home from, so I used to just like stop on the way home from work and yeah. Now I'll accidentally work. I, I just don't have a schedule, so it's hard. But yeah, that is <laughs> my complaint for the day. Well, my bangs are my complaint for the day. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking and get to work, and I'll catch up when I'm doing something exciting. I think I'm gonna, yeah, do I have a plan? I really need to go grocery shopping too, but we'll see. Someone asked if I could show my groceries, and I would love nothing more. So if I go grocery shopping, I'll, I'll show you my groceries. I love watching grocery hauls, but I'm going to get to work because I've already wasted too much time. Thinking I needed to go make myself coffee, but I already made myself coffee. I have all this here because I actually went to a coffee shop to work for a couple hours yesterday, which is really nice. And every time I do it, I'm like, I should do this more often. It's so nice to leave the house. And then I don't do it for like six months. So yeah, especially with the nicer weather, I'm gonna start forcing myself to go to coffee shops to work more. It's just nice to be around people sometimes. Like you kind of forget it um, when you're working at home. Obviously it's nice to work from home and like have the room to concentrate, but sometimes you just want to be around people. You don't need to talk to them. Just like, see that there are other people in the world. <laughs> it's nice. Sometimes. Sometimes. Let's get to work and stop talking. Okay, so I'm done. The first thing, I basically need to go post it and look through the PDF, but I basically just had to change basically basically I just had to change one thing on that so I went and did that and now I need to post it um, in the file in the project thing to <laughs> send it to the other people um, my next project is a bingo card in Figma we've already got the design finalized I just need to go in and figure out how to make it interactive for people working at home I think I should just be able to make them buttons so when you click them they change color so yeah, that is my next project, and hopefully it takes as little time as this one just did. Okay, I just ate breakfast and I took a little break, but I want to have the urge to paint this bathroom blue. If you've watched any of my um, home tours, apartment tours, I always complain about this bathroom, and I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like that would make it so cute. You can't see it at all. Yeah, I feel like it would work. <laughs> I just really like the white and the blue and like it's the same kind of thing like a very long narrow bathroom but yeah I actually found that picture looking for a blue bathroom like I didn't see it and think that would suit my bathroom I was I just was like I want to paint my bathroom blue and I don't know why but that picture has validated <laughs> my idea and now I'm like is it a bad idea I feel like it's not a bad idea but 
it's <laughs> it's kind of, it's a bit much so we'll see I don't know I kind of want to do it I just want to do it I just really like the bright blue and the white and obviously if I move I'd have to repaint it but yeah that's kind of something I've been thinking about lately I'm not gonna do it like right now but like after I'm done my big market which I have at the end of the month I'm like maybe maybe I should paint my bathroom blue and stop complaining about it um, so we might do that. We'll see. We'll see <laughs> how long this crazy idea sticks in my mind. And yes, I did say I wasn't going to change anything in my apartment um, this year, but I already did. And like a blue bathroom. That's so fun. I don't know. Let me know if it's a bad idea. Even if it's a bad idea, I'll probably do it. But yeah, I just took a break from work. I had some breakfast and contemplated whether I should paint my entire bathroom blue and now I'm gonna go take Hank out for a walk and then come back and work, continue to work. What I wanted to do isn't really working out so we're gonna take a minute away and think about it and think if there's any solutions and if not I'm gonna tell my coworker that like our plan is not working out but I want to make sure I have all the research done before I go to her and bother her for something that's obvious so that is the plan. Blue bathroom? I don't know it's cute. I think it would really work. I'm gonna go for a walk. And we are back from the walk and ready to try to figure this out. And then after that, I don't have anything till the meeting at 3.30 this doesn't take a full two hours. Okay, I've just finished my first and only meeting for today. It said it was gonna be a half hour, but I had a feeling it was gonna be an hour, and it was an hour, so that meeting is for the project I have tomorrow, so I have more time to work on that tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna go and get ready. Basically, I have everything by the door. I just need to grab it and go and head out to the workout class I have, which I'm gonna take the train to because I don't have enough time to walk, which I thought would happen. So I'll probably walk home unless I'm like super, super hungry. I was having trouble with exposure and I don't need any help being pale, but I think I fixed it now. I am back from that workout class and it was humbling to say the least. I used to do a lot of bar workouts before the panini started and I really like them, but I have not done them fully in the last three years, like at all. So I just forgot what to do and the first half was very humbling. <laughs> I felt like just a little like goblin like not sure what to do and everyone's all coordinated but I think by the end it was okay and I would do it again. It, it I liked it at one point so I think if I got a bit better I would like it again and I did not walk home. I was really hungry and the train is free if you go within like an hour and a half. Like, I, Does that make sense? It's not free. Like you pay for your ticket and it's good for an hour and a half so I had enough time to get back without paying any money. <laughs> so it's not free, I did pay at the beginning. Though I did see some guy <laughs> try to rush the thing and not pay. He did get through but in the process he got his very expensive looking bike stuck in the thing and I was like wow you've really drawn attention to yourself but also if you can afford that bike I think you can afford the train fare. Very off topic but I am back. I took the train home because I was very hungry and it makes more sense just to come home and take Hanky out for a little walk so I'm going to do that and take Hank out for a walk. I've already eaten so I'm no longer hangry. I think I need to go grocery shopping tonight which I really don't want to but I also work a full day tomorrow, so I'm not really gonna have time, and I really, really, really have no food. I don't know why I'm sinking down this way. I I have a spine, I swear, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna awkwardly fix my posture. Now I'm too... Um, anyways, I'm gonna go take Hank out for a walk, and we'll see if I have anything else interesting to say for the rest of the day. Do I ever have anything interesting to say that is a very debatable thing? Debatable thing. <laughs> That's debatable.
Greetings, welcome to my first grocery haul. Um, so we'll start here, this is kind of my protein pile. Buy tofu just because it's cheap and good to have in the fridge for protein to have on hand. Uh, ham to eat with eggs sometimes. Turkey meat because I'm making tacos. Tortillas also because I'm making tacos. Cheese because I'm making tacos. Obviously not the fancy kind. Um, egg and this is half and half for my beloved coffee. This I just have on hand. I like to have a few things for when I'm starving. Usually I just forget about them in the back of my fridge. Chicken strips for a salad I make. I already said that. Got a lot of avocados because they're on sale for $2.50, which is a screaming deal. Baby carrots. I like to have these as a snack. Lettuce for my tacos. Apples. So spinach for the salad with the chicken strips. And then we have dish soap and hand soap because I ran out of all soap. Um, this cost me a bit over $90, I think it was, um, which is quite a bit more than I usually spend. I usually spend like, I would say 60, 65. I also think, did I say this applesauce? Unsweetened applesauce. Um, yeah, I usually spend about 60, 65, I would say on average, but I did buy like a lot of meat as well as like things like that, which I find usually ups the price. So yeah, it varies from week to week. This is definitely a high week though. So I hope that was interesting to have a little nose around my groceries. Um, I personally really like grocery hauls. I'm just never sure about sharing food and that type of thing. I feel like I just focus mostly on work for these videos. So yeah, um, let me know if that was interesting. Someone did request it. I have like three people who watch my videos regularly, so that's pretty exciting. You know who you are, three people. Uh, <laughs> okay, I am very tired and I'm back in my little spot. I'm gonna quickly just go and download some files that I need for tomorrow so I can wake up and be prepared. I'm gonna try to go to bed early today. Early is like 11 for me because I'm just feeling a bit, like I said, I just complained that I was tired. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired and I feel like tomorrow is going to be a pretty full-on work day because it is due Monday, so if it's due Monday and we do it on Friday, we have to do everything in that day. So yeah, I'm going to get prepared and then I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully it's not too crazy of a day so we can have a little chit-chat. Um, yeah, I'll miss you. Good night. So good morning. So, good morning. I just realized I'm working in the dark. That's better. And Hank is eating in the other room, so that's the noise. I always wear black, and I thought it looked good, in me, good on me, but whenever I wear it on camera, I, I question it. Um, good morning. I am very tired. Um, I did not go to bed at 11. <laughs> But I am up and I've just been starting on that project I had the meeting for yesterday. So I have all the information. I just need to go and actually do the work. There's supposed to be a new template that I can't find. So yeah, I need to find that and then get to work. Pretty much all day today I'm going to be working. So that's a big exciting news for today. I really want to get my, I want to do my nails later today. We'll see if I have time for that. Right now it's time to get to work. See a little Hank. Okay, I am just getting ready to take Hank out for a walk. I've done like the outline of everything that I need to do. I just need to go in and add the actual pages. And yeah, it's nice outside and it's time for a walk. But first, so, oh, that was dumb. Sniffing my pants because he knows what time it is. Is it time for a walk? Yeah? Walk, walk, walk. Is it walk time? I feel like when my hair goes like this, I look like I'm in the Beatles. Okay, so it is quite a bit later. I've not had time to update anything today. It's been 
pretty busy. I feel like that should have almost been a two-day project because it was a lot. I just finished an hour and a half long meeting, so I need some water. I ran out part way through, but I didn't want to get up and get it. So I just finished my one and only meeting for the day. It is five. I'm going to make something to eat. I think I just might have a little snack. And then I'm going to decide if I want to take Hank for a walk now or wait a bit and do that. I think I should go now. I'm feeling a bit antsy. First, I need something to eat. I'm back from my walk and back to do a little bit more work to finish this up this evening so I don't have to do it over the weekend. Um, I Hank has like a little friend who's about the same age as him. And when I was walking back, I walked through the alley just because it gets more sun at that time of day. So I was walking through the alley and at the corner of my eye, I see like a thing, a cage full of puppies. And it was Hank's friends, well, yeah, the dog that Hank really likes had puppies. So I went, I had, to, I got the guy to hold Hank while I went and played with all the puppies. And it was so cute, but I did not think to film anything. I got too excited, but they're little, I think they're Australian Shepherd or something, but they're so cute. They're seven weeks old, but they're pretty big. Like, they're probably a bit smaller than Hank, but obviously it's going to be a way bigger dog. But yeah, that was my excitement for the evening. I'm going to get back to work on this, and I think it'll probably take me a couple hours. We shall see. Use the amount of money that you could make as a guarantee to get you to sign up for their program. I think I'm getting old. I need to lay down after work. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do after this. I'm probably just going to uh, look at another screen and watch TV or something and do my nails, like I said. Um, but I'm going to end the video here and thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to try different days, different amounts of time um, for these videos. So I think two days, which this was, is a good amount of time. A week is a bit overwhelming um, unless I'm on, to on top of the edit. Unless I'm on top of the editing, like as the week goes, I just get overwhelmed and like forget what happens that week anyways. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Like I said a second ago.